First of all, everything that you'll need link wise, I'll just stick that into the description so you can get that pretty easily. What you're going to want to do first of all is to um, install Half Life. So you're going to want to install Half Life like as a clean install. So if you've already got it, get rid of it, um, reinstall it. Um, once you've done that, you're going to need to open up your local files. So the quickest way of doing that instead of browsing is just to um, click properties, local files, browse, and that'll open your folder. I've already got that open at the moment. So you should get a folder that looks basically like this. Um, then this link up here, I'll put that into the description as I've said. Um, we've already done step one, I've just done step two. We're going to need these two files um, and we're going to put those into the Half-Life folder. So you can download these from here and they'll come zipped. Um, when we've done that, uh, in fact, uh, ooh, let me just copy my link. So you want to copy your your folders to make things a little bit quicker. Um, select it, extract it all, however you need to do that on whatever operating system you're using. Can't remember what Windows 10 looks like now. It will come up with some conflicts, but you will replace them. So we replace those. So we've done the first one, um, and now we need to get Half-Life Ray Trace resources. So just the one folder on this one. And again, I'm going to stick our address in. And um, we'll copy these items over. It updates a few of the resources, and it, like I imagine, it's like backgrounds and, and and stuff like the texture, sorry, and stuff like that. So it takes a tiny bit longer. Uh, once we've done that, um, we are basically ready to go. So the thing that you're looking for to launch this is uh, which one's my Half-Life folder? Um, ray trace. Oops. Ray trace bin, and it's this one. So uh, you can't launch this through the Steam browser because if you do it it'll launch this version of half-life and that's not the one that you want i'll show you this launched in a moment if you've got nvidia dlss uh, compatible well if you can use it if you've got the right graphics card for it you're going to want to install this i'm a little bit on the fence about it i'll sh I'll, I'll do a video on some of the, the the gameplay and the visuals with it i don't think that dlss looks as good as the FSR, if I'm honest. Um, it softens the image a bit much, but um, I'll leave that for you to decide. So you're gonna wanna download this. Um, now you'll find that on, uh, if you follow the link, it'll take you through to here. And then you're gonna click download. When you do that, it's gonna tell you that you've got a naughty file. Um, so it'll come up uh, blocked because it might harm your device. Again, depending on what browser you've got, but Windows Defender will find this. Um, so if you, select keep then you get to download the file i've already downloaded this once before it's all right so i'm going to use the one that doesn't say the one next to it so it doesn't ruin everything um what we need to do is put that into the rt bin folder um just double check because i've only done this one once and um, we just got to make sure the name is the same which is um what i was saying before so we'll copy that stick that in the bin folder and we We'll replace that one. Uh, download the Raytrace bundle and we'll replace that Raytrace GLDLL with that one. So we're going to open this one. And we need to find Raytrace GLDLL. Uh, we'll stick that into this folder as well and we'll replace that. Okay, so once we've done that, we can get rid of all those files. I mean, I'd probably just keep them there while you're, uh, um, what's the word for it, testing it out. And then we're gonna launch it directly through this. Um, don't worry about Windows Defender trying to protect it. It's um, It's been a bit overzealous, but it's, it's doing its job really. So there's not gonna be any issues with it, so we can run this straight up. Because I don't think it has any I don't really understand it to be honest, but it doesn't have like the actual official publisher. So um, graphics options that will give us the chance to use NVIDIA DLSS, so we can use that for all the modes you probably would expect. FSR 2.1. I think it looks a little bit sharp if I'm honest, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on. This is the coolest thing. Um, it actually looks really good in CRT, um, and you can change the settings. One thing that I would recommend turning off is your pixel textures because then it will blur it and then it will look more like it, an actual uh, game you expect and then I wouldn't want to be 
Then when you do that, you can launch the game through this. Uh, it's not the same launcher as Half-Life, as I mentioned before, so if you launch it through this, you're not gonna get any of your save files and stuff. Um, you might be able to paste them over. Um, I'm not quite sure how many person tried to do it, but it would be feasible in my eyes. Okay, cool, I'll, I'll do a bit of gameplay and another video. I just want to uh, make sure you get yourself set up. So, cheers for watching.